the transformation that can take place in a young girl's appearance simply by changing the style of her hair is deftly accomplished in the hands of an experienced beautician. That little girl look can be replaced by sophistication with quick strokes of scissors and comb. Many women average two hours a week in a beauty salon. The care given their crowning glory depends on how much time they can give it and the skill of the beauty operator. Since 1945, an increasing number of men have chosen the beautification of womankind as a career. Their customers have confidence in their judgment because, after all, who is more appreciative of beautiful women than a man? The way to beauty may not be the most attractive, but the admiring glances that result are worth it. At one time, a man visited a barber shop as much to relax as to have his hair attended. Now, modern women go to the beauty shop with the same objective. Special facial treatments bring to milady's countenance a look of health and youth. A manicurist shapes and polishes her nails to accentuate the length and gracefulness of long, tapering fingers. Knowledge of skin care and facial structure is something a beautician learns as an apprentice. Her fingers are the tools with which she always works. The direction in which they move, the rhythm of the massage, perform another kind of beauty magic. A woman's hands are as important to her as her face, hair, and clothing, if she is to feel well-dressed and at ease. To explain all the mystery surrounding a woman's ability to make herself beautiful, would be impossible. Not even all the secrets of what goes on in a beauty salon are obvious to an outsider. A beautician trained in all the aspects of beauty culture, from washing to waving, including facials, manicures, and cosmetology, knows more than words can tell. The proper use of hands and equipment, the way to roll a curler, is something not always expressible in words. It is enough that we are able to enjoy the work of the beauty salons wherever we turn. and beauticians whose aim in life is one of service to the appearance of mankind. These are people whose craft dates back to the beginnings of civilized society, whose union stems from the Middle Ages when barbers and surgeons were one.